Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So every once in a while I get questions from people asking me how I'm able to get my hands on hard to find Chanel or Louis Vuitton items. And Chanel is a little bit more complicated, but for Louis Vuitton, I feel like there are concrete ways to get your hands on hard to find items. These are methods that I've personally used myself and I found that they work. So I wanted to just share these tips with you guys in today's video. And I guess like I'm going to jump straight into it. And I think people kind of stress the importance of having a sales associate, but I don't actually find that it's absolutely necessary for Louis Vuitton. I don't buy enough Louis Vuitton items that I found myself needing to have a dedicated sales associate. I mean, it might be beneficial, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary. Of course, if you live near a store, you should go check it out and see if you can kind of like build a connection with a sales associate and then you can reach out to them when you want something. And I definitely do think that will help, you know, like it's another avenue for you to track down something that is hard to find. But for example, if you don't live near a boutique or you've just never clicked with anyone or <laughs> a lot of times I feel like sales associates are so busy and maybe they have their preferred clients already so they're not very responsive. In those cases, I think these tips will be very helpful for you guys. So I'm going to first start with some specifics for items that have not been released yet. Most of what I'm going to cover in this video can apply to, you know, like seasonal limited edition collections, but it also works for things like the Palm Springs Mini or like the Moti Pochette Accessoire, stuff that has been around for a while and I guess they're like permanent pieces in their collection. But I first want to focus on what you can do to kind of increase your chances on getting your hands on items that have not been released yet. So I would say that a big part of this challenge is to keep yourself up to date with what has yet to be released. And there are multiple ways of doing this. You know, I'm sure there are many YouTube channels that go through upcoming releases. If you are on the purse forum, for example, there are posts all the time from people sharing information about new releases. And on Instagram specifically, this is actually someone that I always look to for information on new releases. There's this account called Foxy LV. She shares a lot of photos of new items that will come out very soon. And she also includes reference codes as well as dates for these releases. So the date as well as the reference code will be very useful for what I'm about to say next. If you're not someone that has your own sales associate i think it's easier to kind of like put your attention towards getting these pieces from their online stock of merchandise so not the stock that is associated with any particular boutique but for their online boutique their e-commerce website there is this separate pool of stock that orders get fulfilled with so what i've really found works is there is this email address that you can email it's concierge at contact.louisvuitton.com and i guess i want to put a little bit of a disclaimer i am based in the u.s so i know that these tips work for the u.s i don't think it's necessarily just for the u.s but that's my experience so i just wanted to include this little disclaimer so this email address you can email them and sometimes they will actually be very helpful in even placing pre-orders for you if you can give them that reference code it could sometimes be a hit or miss depending on who gets your inquiry sometimes they will be very helpful and help you pre-order it other times they'll say that you just have to wait for it to be released and basically good luck but if they say no you can always email them back and hope that you get someone else that is able to help you a bit better and if they're able to pre-order it for you they'll basically email you a link to pay for the item and then you can just track the progress of this order on the website so everything is pretty straightforward as long as you're able to get someone who says yes you can pre-order it let me help you with this but if you're not able to pre-order it it's not like all hope is lost so keep in mind what the release date for this item is and you kind of have to get ahead of the game a little bit and when i told my husband i did this to get my hands on one of my christmas animations piece from last year he called it cheating but i honestly don't 
don't really think so. So the trick is before the official time that the website gets refreshed and these items get added to the website, you are actually already able to hit purchase on these items. It's just not easy for you to find the item page and then hit add to cart and whatever else you need to do to get to the checkout process. But there are instances where, for example, certain countries pre-release these items at an earlier launch date. Or for example, if you live in the US, which is you know, one of the later time zones, there are all these other countries that have already hit release on these items. So the trick is to log on to your Louis Vuitton website account, but on one of these countries' websites instead, and then when you find the item, either by searching the reference code, then you can get to the item page, or if you just search like new arrivals or something, you can get to the item page. From there, you should just hit add to wishlist. And when the items are in your wishlist, you can switch back over to your own country and then go back to your wishlist. And from there, you can check to see if it's in stock. And it's not always the case that like the first time you do this, it will say in stock. But from my experience, it will say that it's in stock in your wish list before you can even find the item page. And then you can add to cart and then proceed with checkout. And then, yeah, you get your hands on this hard to find item before a lot of other people even know that this has somewhat been released for purchase. And as I mentioned, even if the item you want is a permanent piece in Louis Vuitton's collection, it can still be so hard to actually purchase this item. Stock is so low, not just at Louis Vuitton, but like almost all luxury stores it just sometimes feels impossible to even buy something if you have the money for it and yes you can definitely refresh the item page on their website but that is in my opinion not the best use of time what i found works better is once again there is that email address that you can email and yeah the person who gets your inquiry hopefully they're able to help you or is willing to help you and then the process is kind of the same they'll send you a payment link and then after you pay and the order gets placed then you can track the status of it on the online website the thing is with items that are you know part of their permanent collection but it's just currently out of stock they can't really guarantee you an exact time that the order will be fulfilled you know if you pre-order something then basically the item will ship out soon after the launch happens but with these items that are kind of like on back order they can't really guarantee you a time frame but in my experience i haven't had one of these kind of like orders get rejected and canceled on me it's always ended up working out for me and i feel like the most it's ever taken is like around three weeks so definitely much better than you know having to refresh the page or having to call a bunch of boutiques and basically have no one answer your call right so definitely try out that technique but if you're still not able to get your hands on whatever it is that you want through this email or through the online website then there is still kind of like the backup of reaching out to their physical locations so on Louis Vuitton's website there is this kind of like find and store feature that you can search for the availability of any item at all the locations that are in the country and yes you might think that oh if it shows that it's available in this boutique then you can just call the number for the boutique and they'll be able to help you and I want to say that you should not get your hopes up just by seeing that in stock green you know like circle or whatever on these boutiques because sometimes the inventory is not accurate and sometimes even if it is accurate it doesn't mean that you're actually able to purchase it it could be put on hold on a customer or you know whatever the case is they will not sell it to you and actually i should go back a step and say that if that store is not near where you live or if you don't already have a contact within that store, there's no way to actually reach that store because if you call the number that they list, it will transfer you to their main kind of like customer representative line and 
if you speak to someone there they're not able to actually transfer you to the store they can put in a request for you if they see the item is available they can put in a request to have the store get back to you about this item and it's not like they're getting back to you right away so even if the item was there we all know that items get sold so fast at these luxury stores and by the time they get back to you it might have already sold already so that's not the best way but unfortunately for the standalone boutiques there's no way to really reach them directly actually before filming this video i called a bunch of the numbers that were listed on louis vuitton's website like when i did kind of like this find in store feature i basically called like 10 stores that were around the area where i lived and nine out of ten of them or all but one of them basically routed me to the same exact main number there was only one location where someone actually picked up the phone directly that was the fifth avenue louis vuitton boutique in new york city if you guys are curious but yeah i think it is much more useful to kind of shift your attention specifically to the louis vuittons within department stores and don't use that number that is listed on Louis Vuitton's website to try to reach them. Once again, you'll get routed to their main number. But what you should do is just Google that department store, that specific location, and then call that number and someone at the department store will pick up, which they do actually pick up. And you can have them transfer you to that boutique within the department store. And I found that that definitely has a much higher rate of success and then you can you know ask whoever picks up the phone to see if whatever item you want is available you can say oh i saw that this item was available at your location on the website is that actually true and can i purchase it and yeah just go from there and see what they say and if it's not available since you already have someone on the phone see if they can put your name down so when it does become available they can reach out to you and do keep in mind that everything that i mentioned will not have like a 100 percent success rate but i think that these tips will get you pretty far in trying to find everything that is on your wish list hopefully so i hope this video was very helpful for you guys if you like this video definitely do please give it a thumbs up and if you've personally tried any of these tips before and they've worked for you let me know in the comments down below or if you have other tips to share please do leave them in the comments down below so someone who watches this video can try out those tips for themselves and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing for new videos every single week on luxury and fashion. And I'll also leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next, so I'll see you very soon. Bye for now!